Sia is the directorial debut of Manish Mundra, a name you might know from terrific left of mainstream films such as Aankho Dekhi, Masan, Newton and Ram Prasad Ki Tervi. He produced all of them. Manish is a business executive turned filmmaker with singular taste. So how does the producer do as a director? Let's find out. Manish's taste is apparent from the first frame of Sia. The film is set in a village in Uttar Pradesh. The film opens with Sia, who is a 17-year-old girl going outside her house to relieve herself. The camera stays still as Sia goes about her business. It's night. Sia's family is sleeping. We see her house in the background as she crouches. It's a routine moment and yet there's this rising sense of dread. Within the first few minutes, the film establishes Sia's vulnerability. Even when she's back inside the house, in her bed, sleeping next to her younger brother, the camera snakes through the house, showing us the open doors and the mud wall. This is all that protects the family from the predators outside. Inevitably, what we fear will happen, happens. Sia has been inspired by true events. The film is a descent into the concentric circles of hell that women in India live in. Sia is a strong, determined girl. She dropped out of school in sixth grade, but her lack of education doesn't stop her from dreaming of more. She wants to get a job. Her family relies on her. In the first half, we see her cycling through fields and dusty roads, getting her chores done. Even later, she's the one with resilience. Sia insists that they fight the powers that be. But the odds are stacked against her. It's her, her hapless family and their lone supporter. A lawyer nicely played by Vineet Kumar Singh, who all stand up against the system which includes a powerful local politician, the toxic young men in his family, corrupt cops, and a horrific patriarchy which reduces women to being voiceless, submissive beings who have little say in what happens to them. It's a story we've seen play out many times before. And yet, Manish makes it gripping, especially in the first hour. Pooja Pandey, who makes her acting debut, is very strong. She internalizes Sia's trauma. So despite the horrors that Sia endures, there's no loud drama or screaming. Instead, we see the anguish in her eyes and the quiet strength with which she resolves to fight for justice. There are moments here in which you might see faint echoes of Alia Bhatt in Urta Punjab. You know, that same tenacity of a woman who might be physically broken and yet she persists. The film also benefits enormously from the work of DOPs Subhranshu Kumar Das and Rafi Mahmood. The visuals have a grim poetry. Subhranshu and Rafi use light and shadows to underline the awfulness of Sia's experience. Through the film, scenes are staged with action on both sides of the frame and this dividing wall in between. We also have close-ups of Sia's face against barred windows and barbed wire, suggesting how confined her life is. The hiccups start in the second hour, when the plot moves into familiar territory and Manish's control on the material loosens. There is dialogue about Uppar se adesh and Takatwar log. The bad guys relentlessly go after Sia and her family. It's brutal and there is no new insight. The saga of the powerful crushing the weak, especially women, is repeated yet again. When the writing, also by Manish, Haider Rizvi and Samha, starts to falter, the craft starts to seem indulgent. In one scene as a house burns, the camera lingers on the reflection of that fire in the eye of the distraught owner. It feels like Manish has become enamoured with his own telling. There are also a few scenes in which the camera feels too intrusive and borderline voyeuristic. Sia's trauma becomes fetishized. Sia is of course another name for the goddess Sita from the Ramayana. Like her, this Sia is also abducted. But unlike her namesake in the epic, this Sia must fight her own battle. There is no army on her side. The power that the film accumulates dissipates over the runtime. But despite the soft spots, there is little doubt that like producer Manish, Director Manish is also a distinctive voice. I look forward to what he makes next. Would I recommend it to a friend? Yes, but with the caveat that it is a tough sit. Uh, there are some brutal scenes in here.